I'm going to combine 6 through 8 together here, and now we're just going to be basically um, splitting up CPI into categories and looking at it from a volatile standpoint as well. So you see there for number 6, I'm talking about... Um, core inflation. And when we talk about core inflation, we're talking about basically the least volatile components. Of CPI. Um, Yes, geez. Um, well, most of these things would be things like um, uh, <laughs> clothes purchases, electronics, most durable goods. The volatile components are energy. That's by far um, the most volatile component. And so what economists do is they calculate inflation sometimes overall. And then uh, most of the time, the most volatile one, which is energy, sometimes they exclude um, energy prices from the inflation to get a better idea of what's going on. <coughs> now, there's also this idea that Consumers, when they eventually buy the good, right, we're tracking how much, how much the things they buy, how much it's changing in price. That's from the consumer's perspective. But you could also imagine that we could look at what do firms buy to make the products that we eventually buy. This would be basically called the producer price index. It's constructed the exact same way as the CPI, except... What we can start to do then is make predictions about how CPI might change based on how the PPI is changing. And then finally here, as I've uh, sort of alluded to here already, um, CPI is broken into components such as food, durable goods, services, non-durable goods. Energy. Uh, there's a whole host of different categories. And again, the the useful thing here would be if there is a lot of inflation in your economy, it's, it's useful to know where is it coming from. If there isn't inflation, um, are there certain things that are um, experiencing decreases even in price? I say that because the most recent example we have right now is that we're not seeing a lot of inflation right now. And economists have started to think, well, maybe it's not showing up in the data because cell phone prices keep going down so much. There's some, there's some truth to it, I think.